Alright, man, welcome back to another reaction. Uh, today we got The Depressing Truths Behind Man Vs. Wild. Uh, so now I'm someone who grew up watching Man Vs. Wild, right? And I would always hear, like, rumors that it was fake. But I never really looked into it, man. So, uh, this video is gonna be doing exactly that. Uh, this video is gonna be absolutely fucking great, like always. So let's not waste any time and just get the rights into this one, man. <laughs> I didn't know it was this fake. That comment was posted to an early expose. Oh, this. Okay, we did see. Th I did see this. Man vs. Wild Season 1, we Episode did see this. 5. This is mad Bear Grylls' other survival missions have featured everything. That one was so funny. It pans to the left. Oh my god. From that was so good. To volcanic landscapes created by smoke machines. We're gonna go over every available example where Bear Grylls might not have been telling the truth, Wait, the... including multiple responses from the man himself, so you can come to your own conclusion about whether or not the show was real. A TV survivalist caught cutting corners. This was the first example of Bear Grylls being called out for fakery, and it came on the 24th of July 2007, just four days after the end of the first season the article was written after mark Weiner, Damn, so one this of the is, show's consultant so this is like this is something that started instantly i mean a couple days after the first season that's pretty fucking quick to talk about the ways in which the first season was staged mark began by explaining that while in the sierra nevada mountains grills was seen supposedly sleeping under a rock beside a small life-saving fire on this little overhang here here's all i've really got now our shelter for the night it's not very nice yet in all actuality grills instead spent each night at the pines resort in bass lake no which is shot easy getaway for families and is a luxurious hotel with its own spa on a lake as well as television stone no fucking shot bro fireplaces hot tubs and internet access however this isn't the only part of the episode which has since been exposed as fake only a few minutes after waking from Dude, the look at this quality can we talk about this fucking quality bro it's so bad campsite which he apparently didn't even sleep at grills runs into a group of wild mustang before talking about how unusual it was to see them out in the wild a chance to use an old Native American mode of transport comes my way. And this is such a privilege to see that probably loose horses that have broken free maybe from a ranch. He spends okay, a no shot. He like gets... Alright, see this is where... Alright, this is clearly fake. Because you don't just run up to wild horses and they just let you pet them. There's... I, I like... I almost guarantee you try to start getting close to them they would fucking leave instantly. There's no way that he actually rides one of these. If... Holy shit. If he actually rides one of these, oh my god. I've never seen this. So if I would have seen this, I mean, instantly I'd have been like, come on, bro, what are you, what are you talking about? That probably loose horses that have broken free maybe from a ranch. He spends the next couple uh, of minutes gaining the trust horses. of the wild horses before trying to jump onto one without success, which is interesting oh god, as, according him? to a Reddit post, Bear Grylls breaking a wild Mustang was actually a choreographed scene shot with a domesticated horse from a nearby ranch. Jesus. The post included a video which has sadly now been deleted, yet there are comments on other websites to back up the claim, such as the wild horses in the american west are uncombed skittish wild creatures with scrapes and cockle burrs not the gentle manicured saddle horse which was seen in that episode alongside youtube comments yeah, such really as, true, i grew up near reno nevada and spent a lot of time <laughs> watching wild horses the proof that he never i've actually seen wild horses too because i've i've uh been to reno three times now i think it's three times yeah three times uh they have wild horses down there it's fucking really cool man you just see them out in uh out in like the middle of the motherfucking nowhere it's like the middle of nowhere they're just vibing out there dude it's actually the pretty sick horse. he's still alive <laughs> On top of this, Mark Weiner then explained that Season 1, Episode 9, in which Grills is supposedly surviving on a scarce desert island, was actually filmed off the coast of Hawaii, where Grills spent his evenings in a motel. During the same episode, Grills can be seen making a bamboo raft on the beach, which even in- I mean, so essentially, he always just... They filmed whatever the fuck they needed, and then, for the day, and then he just went back to the hotel with the camera crew essentially see what i heard is that like the camera crew was like here bro here's some candy or like they would like you know give him food or whatever the fuck but no he's literally just piecing out to a five-star hotel 
That's insane. ...included a fishnet sail, yet this was also debunked after Wynert explained he actually led a team of builders to construct the raft. It was then taken apart so that Grills could be shown building it on camera. Bro, However, what? it was season 1 episode 5 on Mount Kilauea oh, that Here was the go. most suspicious of them all. At the beginning of the episode, Grills was... This one is so fucking funny. ...supposedly walking on an active volcano, shown by sulfur dioxide gas which was steaming from the surface. Sulfur dioxide gas forms in volcanoes and here it's really thick look at this you can actually see the sulfur dioxide here seeping out of these vents however after the episode went live one of the show's safety instructors explained to the sunday times that the white clouds of poisonous sulfur dioxide that billowed around the former sas explorer were in fact harmless smoke vapor created machines? by smoke machines no shot. and according to insiders the red glow of the molten magma which he warned could incinerate him in seconds was supplemented by burning hot coals brought in by members of the production oh. team Shit. Sulfur dioxide fumes are colorless and you can't see it, so smoke generators were used off screen to make the existing fumes seem visible. Later in the episode, Grills talks about. Well, I mean, come on. So they just. They're just playing the average person, because the average person doesn't know that sulfur, di uh, sulfur dioxide fumes are colorless. I had no idea. And that you can't see them, so, like, they're literally just. Wow, that's. Dude, this is insane. Later in the episode, Grills talks about This is fucking with my childhood, bro. <laughs> being far from civilization before explaining that crossing the terrain was dangerous due to lava cracks in the ground. Crossing these fragile fissures can be dangerous, but there is a way to do it. Sometimes you get these these lava bridges that cross them over, but you've got to be really This is the really this is the one. Crossing these just cuz you don't know what's solid and what's hollow underneath. Yeah, so the best way is to just jump. Dude, alright, this is egregious. He's like, you don't know what's solid and what's not. So then, to test if it's solid, he just jumps with his full weight onto the, the thing. Like, that. Like, you would think to test if it's solid, you'd stand there and you put your foot on it, right? And you'd be standing on this side right here, and you put your foot on it right there, and like, kind of push down to see if it's fucking solid. No, he just sends it. And what's hollow underneath? Like, he just sends it. Oh! However, when a YouTuber called Volcano Chaser uploaded oh, a video go. titled Rayman vs. Wild Bear yeah. Grills is a Phony, this here segment was also it. debunked. The video showed that just this, behind the camera, go. the lava crack came to an end and could have simply been walked <laughs> around, which became even worse. <laughs> There's even a freeway. There's even a freeway! After it was shown that Grills was not far from civilization <laughs> oh and was rather God. right next to a major highway. Holy. Quite a cherry on top of the cake. The video description exposed other parts of the episode by stating, Most of the scenes in the show don't exist in the area he was supposed to be in. Avocado trees, lava tube, tropical forest, fissures, and landing site are all in different parts of the island and separated by up to 50 miles. Holy. I've hiked this area hundreds of times. These fissures are unique to a small area of... I have enough to anything that's legitimate, but I was surprised how easy it was to dupe the Discovery Channel. I mean, I think the Discovery Channel is a part of it. I don't think they're, they dupe, this guy has the wrong take. I don't think they're duping the Discovery Channel. The channel knows it's fake, and the channel is a part of it. They, all they're trying to dupe is the public, the masses. They don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying? They're, like, the... the the channel definitely knows, and the channel's definitely in on it. I, there's no shot that, like, yeah, 100% they're in on it. <laughs> on the summit, and are a very popular tourist viewing area. They're only a few hundred feet long and easy to go around. Only the phony bear seems to have trouble crossing them. The fishes are located next to the parking area, where cars can be seen on the crater rim drive shown on the clip, although there was That's still more so trickery crazy. that wasn't being made obvious <laughs> to the audience. Survival oh, expert Nick more. Grumans worked with Bear Grylls on Season 1, Episode 13 in the Australian Outback, after which Nick stated that even the script itself was pre-planned. He'd expand on this by stating scripted. everything you see in the show is set up. Hold up. Grooms, uh, he's not a survival expert he's an adventure actor who set up his own outback survival company in 1997 wow i built him shelters and found him snakes to eat on the show broadcast to europe ew you were eating snakes bro that's fucking disgusting dude snakes are just like dude snakes don't have a designated stomach things go into the snake and it just fucking like 
rots and dissolves into the body of the snake, period. So, like, dude, that's so fuck. like, you're just, ugh, that's so gross. It's probably chewy and fuck. Holy. West, you see him catch a snake, kill it, and eat it. But it was actually two snakes. A roadkill that I found, which he was shown beating on the head and eating. And wow, then a live olive kill. python that a wildlife carer had been rehabilitating, which was followed by rumors also exposing the segment where Grills was almost attacked by a crocodile, stating the whole crew was petrified of the crocodiles. Bear didn't want to get anywhere near the water, so he filmed a setup of him like he was near a crocodile when he was actually a safe distance away. Mm. I was a bit miffed when I saw the fish show. As a result of the media ripping each episode to shreds, Bear Grylls was given a chance to respond to the controversy during a live talk show. And then we heard uh, somebody complaining that they said, no, no, he's, he's down the road at the Motel 6. He's, he's not really out there surviving. The way we film these things is over, over six days. And, um, and when I'm filming the live night stuff out, I'm out whether you know, it's in a camel carcass or up a tree. Mm -hmm. And then when we're not filming the li night stuff, I'll stay with the crew. You know, wherever that is, whether it's in a, you know, tented camp area in the Sahara or a jungle lodge, you know, in a rainforest or wherever. Grills would then issue a public uh, apology yeah. stating. I like how he, like, s the two things that he said were still, like, bad. It's like, oh, okay, he's only staying in a tent. Okay, he's staying in a shitty lodge. No, 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 no. He's staying in fucking a nice-ass hotel, dog. If people Imagine. felt misled on how the first series was represented, I'm really sorry for that. He added, I'm the person that takes the rap for these things, even though I'm not always involved in the editing side of it, uh, which was followed by the show promising to be 100% transparent going into the future. Oh, to cover yeah. themselves, the second season nice. opened with a disclaimer. However, it's not like this did any... Their grills and the crew receive support when they are in potentially life-threatening situations as required by health and safety regulations. On some occasions, situations are presented to bear... So he can demonstrate survival techniques. Professional advice should always be sought. Dude, so uh, this first one, or grows and the crew received. I like how they put that out there and then said at the end they're like, oh, but but it is required by health and safety regulations. So where the fuck was it in the in the first season then? If it's required. Were you still doing it in the first season? No, I don't think so. Anything to convince viewers of the show's authenticity. If I had to choose one person to be stranded on a desert island with, it would be Bear Grylls. That way he would have his crew with him, and they'll probably pay for us <laughs> to stay in a night. Holy. Uh, this was 12 years ago. Holy shit, dude hotel or something which became even worse after the show was exposed for a different stunt during the episode in the african savannah grills is shown squeezing water out of elephant dung which by itself didn't seem all that troublesome however when canadian survival expert les stroud host of the show survivor man responded to the episode yeah, i actually like so i watched survivor man and dual man survival um both of those were way better than this one i will say this the first one came out like way early bear girls came out way earlier uh survivor man was actually one of my favorite ones because it was just him Host of the he show no Survivor Man he responded no to the episode crew. in a Reddit AMA. He debunked the strategy by stating, Many of the actual survival skills taught are bogus. It's not possible to squeeze drinkable water out of elephant dung. Well, it is if your cameraman has soaked it with bottled water. I would even That's so nasty too. Like how is that san how is that sanitary? So far it's as not, to say right? that some There's of no the skills way. if followed and attempted in a real survival situation could result in worsening the situation, with this comment coming alongside a few instances of Les Stroud dissing Man vs. Wild for its lack of authenticity. I was wondering if you've ever had the opportunity to meet Bear Grylls. I haven't, because I'm out overnight and there's nobody else out there. What are your thoughts on Bear Grylls? <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to learn about archaeology, would you get a comparison for it? A lot of fresh water around here. Yeah. It's a good thing, too. Otherwise, I'd be reduced to uh, probably having to drink my own pee. <laughs> yeah, right. There are YouTube videos as well as full-blown websites dedicated to the poor advice that Bear Grylls is given, with many stating that this constitutes fakery, while Bro, others have made the point that Grylls was What the fuck with that? Watching a KWE show, trying to learn how to survive in the wilderness, you're doing it wrong. That's a really good take. Simply showing That's survival techniques, take. and it therefore didn't matter if <laughs> That's a very the good take, not. yeah. It's a show to teach you how to survive certain scenarios. You don't like. The way to do something and get better at something is to actually go and do that thing. And, and, you know, actually do it. So, like, go out and, you know, maybe start camping and then learn how to bring. do this and da, 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 you know what I'm saying? 
like actually go out and start doing it now i know watching tv but to be fair the people who are watching that show and these uh survival survival shows i think are just watching for they're they're watching for a whole different reason they're not maybe they are watching to learn but they're not watching to learn to then go out and do that you know what i'm saying maybe they're watching to learn just to like kind of know like oh that's kind of interesting to know but mainly they're just watching for their own entertainment. At least I was. To have every survival stunt to be real every single episode would be both dangerous and illogical. He teaches survival techniques. It's obviously irrelevant if he's really facing those perils or not. The point is it's entertaining and informative. He was teaching mm. people how to survive if they were in that situation as if. He's not risking his life for a freaking TV show. Whether or not setting up the shots constitutes fakery is up for debate. However, a YouTuber by the name of Lo The Show seems convinced that even when set up a different bear grill stunt is completely impossible eating a snake even with the guts and skin on it you can eat them straight like this Not possible. Although in other episodes, <laughs> Bear Grylls has shown himself eating snakes in their entirety, so I wouldn't call the video by Lo the show all that much of a debuff. To be fair, that snake is so much smaller than the other one. That is a small little baby gardener snake. You can probably fucking just rip in half. Like, what are we talking about here? This is like a worm compared to a snake, bruh. I wouldn't call the video- By the way, that's fucking nasty, too. That's absolutely fucking disgusting. Like I said, snakes are, their entire body is like a rotting fucking carcass that just, like, it's, that's so fucking gross. Holy shit. The show all that much of a debunk. Uh, However, if we uh. want slightly better evidence, we have to look at a video posted by Justin Wallace titled Climber Cringe Bear Grills Confirm Top Roper. Justin, who's clearly an avid climber, spends the video criticizing an advertisement in which Bear Grills is climbing a difficult route in Utah. Grills is shown to be using all the wrong gear. Guess we're using the Mountaineer's coil, which you don't really do, especially when you're track climbing in Moab because it just kinks up your rope. Sorry, bud, but a single wire gate on your harness isn't gonna do much for you. Tying all the wrong knots. What the hell knot is that? Kind of looks like a bowlin but not really. And even climbing the wall incorrectly. I don't even see his last piece. He's like 40 feet run out right there. You're gonna die, man. Oh, and there's so many good placements too. Yeah, to be fair, um, he's not Alex Honnold. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why this guy's like, ah, oh, fucking tie it off. Look at his last, I mean, way the fuck down there. Come on, let's be real. How did he get this shot though? I want to know how he got the shot. Oh my God, a mat. No. I was about to say, imagine if this is the ground. This is the ground here, right? And then this is the wall. So you got to turn your head, right? But how would he be like sideways on the wall? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's how it actually is. Who knows? What is he doing? There's no way he is holding his body weight with that one hand in that crap right there. And his two feet are just sticking out on nothing. His crew is definitely pulling his fat ass up there on a three to one. There's no way he's climbing that. The original rock climbing video has a dislike ratio of almost 75% and features wow. comments such as, gotta give him credit for really committing to the BS. Interesting skills he has in climbing. This is just ridiculous. Wow, it could be impressive if it was not fake. As a climber, it's obvious that the heli dropped him at the top and he made some shots rappelling down. I used to like him. Ah, he used shots rappelling down. I mean, that makes sense why it wasn't tied off, too. Why the rope was just going down continuously. That makes fucking perfect sense. Pointing. You could make the argument that Grills gets a wow. pass given it was filmed for an advertisement, but does he get a pass for an article titled Bear Grills Show Accused of Fakery Again after the island's ordinary men exposed... I mean, the look at them. They're like, ah, he faked it again. It's like, dude, he's done it multiple times. What is this? This is no... It's no different. It's trained professionals. According to the article, the island by Bear Grylls introduced what was supposed to be 13 ordinary men are about the to be island? abandoned on a Pacific island uh, with just the clothes they horrible. stand up in and a few tools. But there was no mention that Rupert Smith had worked in war zones and extreme environments, including alongside Grylls as director of Channel 4's Escape to the Legion. Similarly, there was no introduction to cameraman Dan Etheridge, who also worked with Grylls on Discovery Channel's Man vs. Wild. Kiff McMahon a sound recordist with 10 years experience in some of the world's most dangerous places. 
So, dude, he literally had just stud as cameramen and sound like the crew that was with him were just all survival experts. Like, holy shit! And this then is... he was just the actor, which. I mean, if you're gonna do something, that's a great way to fucking do it. You have all the the camera guys and everyone who are they're there, they're observing him 24 seven. They can give him tips. They can tell him what to do. Holy shit, that's actually insane. Also failed to get a mention. The article also revealed that two Cayman crocodiles had been manually released onto the island, and that the rare source of fresh drinking water found by those on the show uh, was actually a rubber line pool set up by the production crew. Bro, Channel 4 what? responded to the featuring of trained professionals by stating, It clearly states in the program voiceover that trained crew are part of the experiment, living under the exact same conditions as the other men. Like all of the men on the island, their professions are captioned on screen and their backgrounds are discussed. Biographies are also on that's the Channel 4 website. Obviously before... they are. I mean, that's a huge part of it. Dude, what? The... We're going on to address the crocodiles and drinking water by stating, We had to ensure the island's only water supply, a muddy pool, would last through filming in the dry season, and that there was enough native animals and native vegetation that could sustain the men for 28 days, as long as they had the ingenuity to find it, catch it, and kill it, I which mean... you have to admit is a when you're comparing like they're like oh we had to try to figure this out if you i mean it's look at a show like uh alone right alone does a great job if you haven't watched alone it's a great fucking survival show literally just drop you out there by yourself there's like 10 contestants all in an area they're not together though they're surviving alone and whoever stays out in the wilderness the longest wins and people stay out there for like two months like just long ass motherfucking times it's out there for fucking ever man that's a great ass show but um I don't know how they want why why they want to just kind of do it like that, you know what I'm saying? Just find an area that's fucking sustainable. It seems like they didn't do enough research. Um wow, okay. So overall thoughts, uh that's insane. Um the guy said it in the very beginning. Uh I knew it was fake, but I didn't know it was this fake. Right? I think that's the quote that he said. That's fucking insane. 100%. I 100% agree with that. I mean, Holy shit, bro. Literally everything was fake. That's... It completely changes... Wow, that completely changes the... The outlook on the entire show and Bear Grylls as a person, honestly. Hey. At least you know he's a great actor, right? He's a great actor. That's one positive we got out of this. Holy shit. Uh, yo, man, hey, make sure to go subscribe to... To Sunny V2 if you haven't already, man. God damn, what an absolute fucking banger like always, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, yo, if you like the video, like the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you next time, man. Deuces.